Now that we've talked about addition and subtraction of polynomials, let's talk about multiplication. We're going to talk about how to multiply them, but first I want you to notice here what multiplication of two polynomials looks like and why I said in the last section to pay close attention to how they're written, especially with longer polynomials. On an exam or quiz, if you're rushing through the font small or for whatever reason, you don't want to make the mistake of performing one operation when they're actually asking for another. Now there's a mnemonic that's used quite a bit in algebra, and you may remember this from high school. It's called FOIL, and what it stands for is firsts, outsides, insides, and lasts. And it's supposed to help you remember how to use the distributive property of multiplication to multiply two polynomials together. I've color-coded the terms here. First means that you're supposed to multiply the first two terms of each polynomial together. In this case, you'd multiply x times 2x squared, followed by the outside terms. In this case, x times 1. Then you multiply the inside terms, so that would be 1 times 2x squared. And then finally, you multiply the last terms. So that would be 1 times 1. Now, this is an OK method, but it works best when you're trying to multiply two polynomials that have two terms. If you'll notice what I've done here below, the way I remember this is, you take the first term of the first polynomial you come to, and you distribute that over the terms of the other polynomial. So you multiply x times 2x squared. Then you multiply x times 1. Then you move on to the next term of the first polynomial, and you distribute that across all the terms of the second polynomial. So in this case, you'd have 1 times 2x squared plus 1 times 1. Now, if you compare the order of the two methods, you'll see that you actually do this in the exact same order as if you used FOIL. And it's kind of a more universal way to memorize it, too, because as you can see here on the top right, you have a polynomial in parentheses multiplied by an x on the outside. x is technically a polynomial as well but it only has one term. But if you take the x here and you distribute it across the two terms of the polynomial within parentheses, what you get is x times 2x squared plus x times 1, which gives you 2x cubed plus 2x. Having said all that, if you prefer to use the FOIL method, please feel free to use whichever method you feel most comfortable with. Let's work a couple more problems to make sure we got the concept down. In the problem here, we got the polynomial x plus 1 multiplied by 2x squared plus 1. If we take the first term of the first polynomial, which is x, and distribute that across each term of the second polynomial, what we get is 2x squared times x, which is equal to 2x cubed, plus 1 times x, which is equal to x. Now if we take the second term of the first polynomial, which is 1, and distribute that across each term of the second polynomial, what we get is 1 times 2x squared, which is equal to 2x squared, plus 1 times 1, which is equal to 1. Since there are no like terms to add or subtract, all we need to do is put this into standard form, and we're done. So we write 2x cubed plus 2x squared plus x plus 1. So let's take a look at the next one. The first polynomial has two terms, and the second has three. But if we do as we did before, it's pretty straightforward. We take the first term of the first polynomial, which is x, and distribute that across each term of the second polynomial. When we do that, we get 2x squared times x, which is 2x cubed. Then we get 2x times x, which is 2x squared. And then 2 times x is 2x. Then we take the second term of the first polynomial and distribute that across each term of the second polynomial. When we do that, we get 1 times 2x squared is equal to 2x squared, plus 1 times 2x is equal to 2x, plus 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Simplifying that, we get 2x cubed plus 4x squared, plus 4x, plus 2. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Let's take a break here. When we come back, we'll talk about factoring polynomials.